Hello everyone and welcome back to The Little Blue Fly. If this is your first time visiting, welcome and I invite you to subscribe to my channel. It's as simple as tapping that red subscribe button, making sure to select all after you have tapped the notification bell. And if you enjoyed the video, we would greatly appreci appreciate a thumbs up. Okay, so here is um, a photo that was actually taken back in fall. And it's actually the only photo we have of um, the outside next to our sunroom. As you can see, it is very messy. Um, the tree is, it, it, it definitely needs um, some TLC, but there's no wall here. There's no border, just mulch. And every time a heavy rain comes through, it just goes down into the driveway. It's just, it's been a horrible mess. So anyways, we decided to give this area a completely new look, a clean look, one that really will go well up against the stone um, here at the cottage. And also, I will be taking you into our backyard, giving you a little tour of that as well. So that being said, let's begin, shall we? Okay, so here is the new addition to the cottage. We actually did um, what is called stone stacking with some uh, different pieces of slate. We purchased a very large um, flat of stone and then a couple smaller ones. And we didn't, we did not use all of them here. They're actually in the backyard and we will be using them to go around other garden beds or whatever we decide to do with them. But as you can see, the trees, they've been trimmed up at the top, but they still need a little bit of TLC. We'll get them there. And look, we have a friend back here. This is a groundhog. Um, for many of you that have not seen such a large, oh my gosh, th this groundhog is huge, guys. Just look at him. In California, our groundhogs are just, they're itty bitty, they're so little, but this one is like the size of a New York City sewer rat or something. But anyways, he lives underneath the shed. Now I'm going to take you into our backyard. And this is what we have been working on. That's why I have not been posting as much lately because all of this back here has been cleaned up. It does not look like this anymore. Um, trees, we actually had a tree and stump service come. We removed four trees and 11 stumps. So that tree and those two right here came down and this one right here as well. They just were not, you know, really in the best of shape. So we decided to do a little bit of cleanup. Actually, a lot of cleanup. The flower bed right here underneath our bedroom window, completely different. We have potatoes in there and bell peppers and tomatoes. It's just completely different. And then this is the side yard. Everything is just so grown up and messy and but part of the picket fence is going to go in this area. And then in the back on Thursday, we have our privacy fence going up. Now we did decide to go with a vinyl, not a wood, just because it really, um, wood just likes to warp and, and rot so quickly over here. So we decided to go with a, a nice, fresh look. 
So now back onto the side of the sunroom. Again, I wish we had video um, showing how, you know, this came along, this uh, raised flower bed. This right here is called a little lime. Um, they come in a much larger variety as well, but we decided to go with the little because we have a smaller space. Everything that's going to be um, shared today will be a perennial. I will be using some miracle Grow garden soil and this is how I like to open up my bags because these are hard to get open so I just give it a good jab with my garden rake. <laughs> Here's our little friend. We actually named him. His name is Otis, and he's a skink. And right now he is, um, as you can see, he has all the, uh, the wood tones going in him, the browns. And then later on in the summer, um, they have this uh, really... Um, like a blue and green color to them. I'm new to um, seeing the skinks. In California, we have just, you know, our California lizards. They're just, they're so different than these get quite large. Sometimes I think they're a snake. So I planted in the two little limes up front and then in the back you will see three other perennials and these are flocks and I believe the specimen name form is um that's the right way of saying it is uh oh I think it's genie I could be wrong I'm not really remembering but I also planted some last year as well so the little limes are going to have like a round, like a ball shape to them, where the flocks are going to spread out. They're going to be a little bit um, like a meadow. They're going to go wild and tall and bushy, and that's just what I'm looking for to go up against the stone. So I have the flocks planted in. And it's going to fill in nicely. Now the little limes, they can get like three feet, three to four feet. So I'm going to have to keep them trimmed up. And I added three other perennials here um, on the left and the right side to go around um, these trees. So I place them in as well, and some on the right side. Again, the flocks are in the back, so the two round little, uh, little limes and then the flocks in the back. Over here to the side a little bit, these are my salvias. I will be placing them in the ground right there. And then I have the, these two cast iron pots um, that I actually found on Facebook Marketplace. And I will be placing something in them as well. And we will be moving into the front yard this week, really getting things cleaned up. I have plants to put inside all those pots. It's going to be fun. And this weekend, I actually posted, I was definitely crushing on my Japanese maple. It is the blood good variety. It's just a beautiful, beautiful tree. And then we added in a bird bath from Lowe's. They had quite a few of them there, actually. We paid $45, I believe, for this. It's a solid concrete. 
And that's the word I was looking for with the flocks, the variety. I wasn't sure what variety it was. Now up front, I am looking for a ground cover and one that will really, um, you know, cascade down over the stones. I want to share the names, a close-up with them. So we have the Ballerina Lilac. It's a mounding perennial. And then here's, they also call it Sweet Dreams Thrift. Now they, the, they are the exact same uh, flowers, but just two different names. At least I believe they look exactly the same. And then the Phlox. wonderful wonderful perennial right here if you're going for that wild meadow look and then the little line they do also have the larger but for the area the space that we were working with we had to go with the dwarf so they are the limelights and just look how gorgeous they are and then as we go through the season and get closer to fall, they start, uh, the warm colors really start coming in. And then you clip them and bring them inside and dry them and decorate with all the goodness that the limelight has to offer. And look, look what Bev got. I'm a sad girl over here. I have poison ivy. I was ripping into that backyard and was paying no attention and it actually looks much worse now than the photo I just shared. Now I like to give my gardens a nice clean look and I will be using this Black Mulch by Scott's. And here is the finished look. And again, um, I will be adding in some terracotta pots with some annuals in here that actually have blooms on them now. In this area, I just wanted to make sure that everything was um, a summer bloomer. I didn't want everything to go away just, you know, be f just during the springtime. So whenever I look for perennials in my garden, I don't just look for the spring. I want to make sure they go through summer and then they start with fall. I'll give you a nice view of the whole side of the cottage. I just couldn't be more happier with this space. And we will work on bringing these trees back up to health with a little bit of TLC. Now I want to share with you this garden bed that obviously came with was built with the home 83 years ago and how we really um, made sure that the stone would play in well. So I have this garden bed nice and cleaned up. I have something very fun and whimsy I will be sharing very soon in this garden bed right here. But if you if you look to the topiaries, you will see in the back the two tall plants. If you remember, I planted them last year. They are the flocks, just like the ones I planted on the side. They came with just one, maybe two shoots, and they've actually spread out nicely, um, just having them for one season. And again, these were planted right around the corner. Then I have my hydrangea up front and the ivy. I'm, I mean, ugh, ivy over here really, um, it's just not 
California, okay, plain and simple. If these were in California, I just planted the ivy last year, I would already have an ivy house. I mean, no kidding. It's just, but thank goodness I'm very patient with my gardening. And really soon I will be sharing the fun little whimsy surprise for this garden bed.